Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm a Social Security Disability Attorney. And today I'd like to talk to you if you are self-employed and want to file for Social Security Disability. And first of all, you need to understand, yes, you can file for Social Security Disability if your earnings were based on self-employment, in other words, if you ran your own business. However, you can expect that a judge in a disability hearing is going to ask you some questions and is going to look very closely at that because I think there been situations where people who are self-employed, um, there have been some evidence of some incidents of fraud there, and so judges are going to look at it very closely. And the main thing they're going to look at is whether or not there are earnings still being reported to your earnings record under your social security number. And that may be because you have a business, and the business you may have given it to a, your adult child or to a relative, and they kept it in your name. And even though you may not be doing anything with the business or actually contributing to the business at all, the fact that it's still operational, it's still in your name, could be an issue. So obviously the main thing judges are going to look at is, first of all, have you paid taxes? If you're self-employed, have you paid taxes? Uh, do you have insurance coverage? So obviously that's, that's sort of a threshold question to see whether you're insured for SSDI. Second thing they're going to ask is, are you still involved in the business any, in any way? Because again, if you are still technically owning the business or if you go in once a week or once every couple of weeks uh, that could potentially be an issue because the judge is going to is going to think possibly that you're still involved in the business and i think the third thing is that when you're talking about a self-employment situation you need to be prepared to describe very specifically what your tasks were in that business and i've seen situations where people were simply an owner did very very little except maybe the books every once in a while, but essentially it was a business that maybe they'd started 10 or 15 years previously and now son's running it, but it's still being money coming in uh, under that person's name, under the claimant's name. That's something, again, you got to be able to explain that. If you are still involved in the business in any way, that could be a problem. So, But again, you need to be able to explain that. And if you are still involved in a very limited way, you need to have evidence, maybe a statement from the person who's actually running the business, maybe have that person appear live, um, have evidence of, of days where you actually came in on a, by a calendar. But I will tell you that if you are still involved in the business, it's still operational, that's going to make it more of an uphill battle. So I would say if you are self-employed and you're pursuing disability, your strongest case is going to be one where the business has closed down, it's not still operating, not still gener generating money. Second thing would be if it's still operating, but you're not involved at all, that's okay. But if you're still involved in any way, even if that's once or twice a, a month you're coming in, uh, a judge is going to assume that you may be more involved than you say you are. That could potentially be an issue for you. So bottom line, self-employed people can follow disability as long as they've paid taxes, but beware if you're still involved in the business. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube, like it on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like our Facebook page, and go to my website at ssdanswers.com, and you can download a free copy of my, uh, it's an email publication, Secrets to Winning Your Disability uh, Claim, and I think you'll find that very, very useful. This is Jonathan Ginsberg, wishing you all the best. Thanks a lot. Hi, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to know more about how to win your Social Security Disability case, I'd like to invite you to download my Secrets to Getting Approved Early Survival Kit that I created just for people like you. Currently, I'm making the Survival Kit available at no cost, and I encourage you to grab your copy now. Some of the topics I cover include, how do I know if I have a case? Is it the right time for me to file my claim? Nine common mistakes that can doom your case. The three must-have arguments you use to win your case, and a topic that every disability claimant wants to know, how to avoid trick questions from the judge. If you or a loved one need to win Social Security Disability Benefits, you'll find this survival kit essential reading. Download your survival kit right now and at no cost. Just visit ssdanswers.com backslash survival and sign up. It's that easy. Please act now. And as always, I wish you the best.